Hi there, my name is Donnie Calabrese. I'm a writing advisor at CBU's Writing Center. The topic of this video is getting used to referencing and citation in university writing. As students, the work you do builds on the work of scholars who contributed to the conversations and debates before you. Most of the papers you write in university will require evidence or support from outside sources. We rely on research to support and sometimes complicate our positions to raise questions and give our readers a more complete and reliable picture of what we are studying. From brainstorming to bibliographies, we interact with sources many times throughout the course of a paper. We use citations so readers can find our sources as easily as possible and to demonstrate when our words and ideas are drawn from sources. In-text citations like these lead the reader to the references page and the references page leads the reader to the source. There, readers can study the material we drew on and if we use good citations, they'll find the sources with ease. We use citations to answer the question, how do I know this? Remember, any sentence that does not use a citation is understood to be your work, your ideas, and your words. Citations need to go in two places in academic writing. In-text citations tell the reader when a sentence contains words, ideas, or information from a source. They're often short so as not to disrupt the flow of your writing. The main function is to lead the reader to the complete citation in the assignment's full list of references. In-text citations require the name of the author and sometimes the page number and year of publication. Most importantly, citations give credit to the sources upon which you are basing your research and arguments. In the references list, all the sources are collected in one list at the end of your paper. The work cited page allows us to find the sources that were used in the text and conduct further research. Depending on the course you take, a different style manual may be prescribed. They're all slightly different, but all of them look something like what you just saw in this video. Remember, regardless of which format you use, citations must appear in the body of your assignment and at the end in the references list. Your reader will assume that any part of your assignment that does not include a citation is your own words and ideas. Thanks for watching. If you're feeling nervous or overwhelmed, don't worry. Make an appointment to meet with the Writing Center by visiting cbu.ca slash writing dash center or email us writing underscore center at cbu.ca.